Is this going anywhere? I mean, this has been oh. going on for years. So right now, is this going anywhere? We have oh. former governors, so whether they are serving as lawmakers or as ministers, it's been going. But do you think this is going anywhere? Sorry. Uh, well, let me start by saying that at this point, I'll recommend that Serap gets a good lawyer. Because they have lawyers. I, no, I don't think they have good lawyers. With all due but respect. With all due respect to them. Now, you see, I've always said that the attitude of Serap is to be emotional, go on air, without properly researching what they are talking about. And even when they want to make a presentation, you can be saying something that is truthful, but when you make a poor presentation, it doesn't get the desired result. This is one of one indication of a very poor presentation. But let me put it very clear, because it seems Serap does not understand our laws very carefully. Now, the law is as or like this. There are two types of pension systems in this country, as I speak. There is a pension system that is that was directly being controlled by government, both federal and state. Then the PFAs were introduced, pension fund agents or managers, whatever you call them. And that is like you or her or me can go into a private pension, set up a private pension fund for us. Or even if we are serving in government, we can opt not to join the uh, uh, government uh, system funds and then deal with directly the PFAs. Now, if you deal with the PFAs, it simply means that because you are serving, and let me warn that when people are serving, they are entitled to get the, uh, the public service contributory part of the pension fund also deposited into whatever pension account, whichever type you are using. And then yeah, there is the direct deduction from your emolument, your salary, which goes also into that fund. So each month you get about two uh, kind of funds going in to that pension funds. That is how it works. I know because I have a pension fund, even though I'm still young. <laughs> but I have a pension fund. So I know how much goes into my pension fund you know, every month. Now, the implication of that is that it is your choice. You can also decide while you are working that, no, I don't want to do a pension. Although, when it comes to a public service, it is somewhat compulsory because the government will deposit their own aspect. Now, because of the new pension laws that we have made in Nigeria, there must be that also deduction if you are in public service from your fund in India. So it goes into there. Now, there are two kinds of people in public service in Nigeria. Those who are uh, career public servants or uh, who have been introduced into the career aspects of public servants uh, public service whether temporarily mid-term or for long term or pure political appointees now when i said something about poor presentation Sarah should have said by their presentation by understanding what they wanted to say even though they didn't say it very well which is that if you're on uh, political appointment it is wrong, I repeat, in my opinion, and by the extant laws of this country, for government to pay you a pension when you leave office because it was a political appointment. The right thing will be to monetize your severance package and give it to you. However, of recent, we found out that both in the federal and in the state, we've seen situations where new laws were passed suggesting that political appointees will be given pension. Now, I am a bit skeptic on commenting on whether that is right or wrong for the simple reason that I do not know whether it is a voluntary contributory pension they are involved in or whatever. If they deliberately agree to an arrangement, we are part of their emolument, while they were in service, we are being deposited into that fund, meaning that they were not necessarily taking all of their emoluments. And they were also making contribution into that fund. You will agree with me that that is their money. Yeah. And even if they leave office, they are entitled to draw on their money. Pension is a form of savings. I hope people know that. Yeah, so and if it is their, if it's their money, then they will be entitled to it. It doesn't matter whether they are former governors or presidents. What is, however, not right is for you, while you are in office, to draw uh, salaries from multiple public institutions. E.g., you can draw a salary from the Ministry of Works and draw another salary from the Ministry 
of education. So I think Serap's information on pension practices and laws in Nigeria is slightly outdated or even very outdated because they don't seem, because they don't seem to understand the different scenarios which could allow for uh, any person who has occupied any office, for instance, to still have a pension so fund. contributory pension. Yes, if it now, is. Well, what Serap is yeah. pointing out yes. is the fact that, for instance, the former governor of River State wrote to me an age. Yes. Who, or the former governor of Lagos State, let's say yes. um, the, um, now the president of Nigeria, yeah. who had left office long years ago. Yes. There is a pension uh, package. Yes. That... The assembly agreed upon yeah. where he's entitled, him and his family is entitled, for instance, to health care. Whether into, where he's no, that's not pension. That's not pension. I'll come to Sorry. that. Where he's entitled to uh, some sort of money. Yeah. Now, apart from you, while he was governor, did that, wrote to me and made, he was in the news at that point. So, yeah. And the issues came up. Now, the more, if you say that's from what I've read so far, the money that the state paid these former governors. Yes. What is it called? Now, that is a sort of, if you like, call it a, a special welfare package due to their past status. But that is now I am no, play, no, it's not fair. State. I am okay, I, so. Why is the state? Why would this let, let, let me explain? Let me explain that. Okay. Let me explain. Pension is money that is deducted from so your actual. Yeah. There's a definition to what pension is. Good. With the actual emolument saved, which when you leave office you can draw. Good. Uh, life expectancy depends, uh, determines how much of that money you may choose to draw. Mm -hmm. I guess even when you leave, you might even because it's your legitimate savings, mm -hmm. you can draw that. Let's not issue quarrel about people's pension. Good. So I am I am saying, please note, I've addressed that issue, but I'm not addressing it in detail. I am saying that government ought not to have paid, if it is not a contributory pension, okay. government ought not to pay pension to political appointees. They should have just a severance package, one-off. 